Welcome to WMI-TV News, brought to you by Horn Auto Center on the West Deuce of Clubs in Sholo, the Chevy store that saves you more. Now from the WMI-TV Newsroom, here's Laura Singleton. I'm Laura Singleton, coming to you from Sholo TV Studio every Monday and Wednesday. Today's top story comes from St. John's. An earthquake registering 3.1 occurred 14.9 miles north-northwest of St. John's at around midnight. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the event was documented by the Tucson, Arizona Seismology Station. At this time, it's unclear how many area residents may have felt the minor quake or if damage was sustained. It felt like when a hard microburst suddenly hits the side of the house or a big construction truck goes rumbling by you from three feet away, said St. John's resident Amber Shepard. Now to Navajo County Sheriff's Office. Robert Collins, the 23-year-old man that escaped his bail bondsman on September 11th, was apprehended in Glendale over the weekend. He escaped from a private bail bond transport company in Heber 12 days ago. He now faces additional criminal charges according to the Navajo County Sheriff's Office. He was being extradited from Phoenix to North Carolina on charges of burglary, vehicle theft, and drug charges. See your Tuesday Independent for more details. Now to Sholo. Timber Mesa Fire and Medical District celebrated their five-year anniversary at the House Restaurant last Thursday. The event was open to the public and well attended. Several town government and city officials were on stage and in the audience. Chief Brian Savage reviewed the accomplishments of the district since forming. Now to past weekend events. The annual Itty Bitty Olympics, sponsored by State Farm agent Jill Tinkle, was a blast of energy at Sholo Senior Field. Over 60 kids of all ages jumped, raced, kicked soccer balls, leapt over hurdles, climbed through tunnels, and had an all-around good time. Families and friends cheered them on and helped the younger athletes conquer the taller obstacles. Now to your local weather forecast, brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. Today you can expect continued rain with highs just under 70 degrees. Wind speeds will range from 10 to 22 miles per hour. The showers and thunderstorms are likely to continue overnight. Tuesday's forecast calls for scattered showers and partly sunny skies. It will be breezy with highs in the low 70s. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found in your Tuesday or Friday Independent. Also, don't forget to like and share the WMI Central Facebook page for local breaking news updates. Remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.